Hi again and welcome to my third video of this Python tutorial for beginners. Today we're going to look at the terminal window and see a little bit what that actually is and how to use it. So just open your launchpad and enter terminal. You see the icon right here? Double click it. Okay, so what you can see right now is a human to computer interface, which means that by this window, you can actually say what you want the computer to do. And you do this by writing different commands, as they are called, which is basically just a text. So you, you write the different commands and then you press enter. And then the computer knows what to react upon. But you also have to be a little bit careful because you can actually change a lot of the computer software by this terminal. So before you enter any commands, double check what they actually do. So you don't do anything that you will regret later. As I just mentioned, you see that there are no buttons here. There are no menus to use. So the only way to communicate to the computer is by text. And it's therefore also usually called a command line interface. So if you hear that instead of terminal, it's the same thing. What you can see here to the left is something called prompt. It's to the left of the dollar sign. And that can give us very useful information about where we are in the computer and where we execute our commands. And to the right of the dollar sign, that's where you actually write your commands. And what you can do with the terminal window is you can connect to other computers, you can start a server, for example, or you can write your scripts something that we will show you in the next video. And as you saw in the previous video, when we write Python, or in my case, Python 3, since I have that version installed and hit enter, you will go into a Python environment. Everything after this command should be executed as Python scripts. And you can quit that by writing quit, and two parentheses, hit enter, and now you're back at where you started. Okay, so stay until the next video that will appear soon. There I will show you some easy Python scripts that you can start with. And don't forget to subscribe to this tutorial lessons as well, so you can see when new lessons are being uploaded. And if you had any problems at all, just comment below and I will answer them as quickly as possible.